income inequality, and fair share? No two buzzwords are more popular amongst Democrats these days, but do they match up with the reality of proposals? It got me to thinking of my state of Illinois, where Governor J.B. Pritzker is proposing doing away with constitutionally mandated flat state income tax rate and replacing it with a progressive one. He claims it's all about erasing income inequality and making those rich people pay their fair share. Sound familiar? But do the numbers back up the claims by Pritzker? Illinois Policy, which is an economic think tank, did a study and its results may surprise many people. As it turns out, those states with progressive income taxes have a much larger measure of income inequality called the GN coefficient. The difference was existent both prior to and after the Great Recession as well. In 2007, those states without progressive state income taxes had a coefficient of 0.445 and those with progressive income taxes at nearly 0.455. A decade later, and those numbers have both jumped to 0.46 and 0.47 respectively. But does that mean that taxes are the cause of the difference? Not necessarily. It's more indirect because the tax rate affects so many other economic factors, which are actually the real drivers of income inequality. What we really need to know is that those states with progressive income taxes have also had lower GDP and job growth numbers. Additionally, we can look to Connecticut, the only state in the last 30 years to switch to a progressive tax rate. Its poverty rate prior to the change was an average of 5.5%. Since the change in the mid-90s, its poverty rate has jumped some 47% to an average of 8.1%. So what does it all mean? It means that the claims of progressive income taxes as a way to best fight income inequality and poverty are completely false. This has been By the Numbers. I'm Andrew Coppins, and you can follow me on Twitter at The Coppins Show.